Hi, so um, I was talking on Instagram recently about buying one of these ring things for your phone. Um, this is my extremely cool phone case that my partner bought me for my birthday this year. The idea is, is that it basically stops you dropping the damn thing. Uh, this is an iPhone 7 Plus, so it's quite large and I usually hold my phone like that and my finger really, really hurts. So I started looking into what could I use to save my finger and um, secure my phone, you know, because it's actually quite heavy and I wasn't sure what to do. So I went on eBay and I found a seller who's selling these. Um, I can't even tell you how much I paid because it wasn't very much. It was a couple of quid and I got two because the second one was I think something to be like 50% off. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. I think that might all be reversed because I'm using my front forward camera. Um, it says, uh, kickstand, safe and secure grip, comfortable, safe and secure grip, horizontal and vertical kickstand, reusable over 100 times. That's true because I've moved this bloody thing all over this case trying to find the right place for it. Rotates 360 degrees and swivels 180. Uh, compact and slim design, 6.1 millimetres. That's how thick it is. Um... Adhesive technology by Styx, S-T-I-X-X. -X. Um, can be applied and removed any time without leaving any residue. Rings, pressure, sensitive adhesive can be run underwater when dirty. Then reapplied over and over. Ring holds up to £15, making it suitable for iPads and tablets. So I got a gold one and I got a rose-coloured one because my phone is actually rose gold. And I thought if, you know, for whatever reason I might take this case off. Um, I can then apply it to my phone and it will blend quite nicely. You can see how thick it is. Mommy! Shh. You see how thick it is there on the back. The ring folds down when not in use. It doesn't really get in the way. Um, all you do is flip it out and then you can rotate it round with your hand. Now, pros and cons. It took me a while to figure out where on my phone I should put it. Now, I opted for down the bottom because I text a lot. So my choice, my thought was, well, if I put it at the bottom, then what do I do about using the top half of the screen? And then I remembered iPhone has this cool feature that if you double tap, everything moves down and you can then click wherever you need to go quite happily. It does mean a lot of little double tapping but it has actually made things so much easier. You don't click, you literally just double tap, that's my toddler, you literally just double tap on the home button and it moves everything down for you which is really really cool. I don't know if Androids do this, I don't, or any other phone, I just know that an iPhone does. So that's how I've been getting around using it and then it's sitting like that. If I need to change the position, I can just swivel it however I like. Um, my only major gripe about it is that the <coughs> ring is huge. You can see that? So my finger's sort of sitting at that kind of angle in it to hold it in place. <coughs> if it was up to me, I would see if there's a way to make this adjustable, but then of course it wouldn't fit around that. Um, it could do with being half that size really and it would make life a lot easier um, for the moment I've got it like that and um, yeah it seems to be working we'll see how it goes